my, my feeling about content and content marketing in general, whether it's in a video, whether it's in a blog post, is always share your best information. Because in most cases, you know, there are so many people out there blogging and creating videos and creating different types of content about every topic under the sun right now. And most people are afraid to share their best ideas because they're concerned their potential customers might just steal that idea and go and do it by themselves. And one of the things that I've learned over the last couple of years is by just sharing my very best ideas and giving away for free, yeah, there are going to be some people who go and they, they take it and they run with it on their own and, and that's great, you know, I've helped somebody. But there's a lot of people who see that and say, hey, wow, this guy's smart, he knows what he's talking about. And, and based on that, they're going to want to do business with me because I've created content, I've put content out there that most other people might be afraid to share and therefore distinguishes my content from, from the other people in my, in my space. And, and I think that's, that's my approach certainly and my recommendation to most of the people that I work with is to, to share your best ideas. And usually even if you give away your best ideas, it's still not enough for someone to create a full funnel and to get the full results out of, unless you really give them, you know, an, an hour course or, or, or something really huge. But even then, you know, most people won't implement, but they'll be impressed by your ideas enough to want to go and buy your product or to hire you to, to, to provide services. All right. So that's the whole point there is valuable, some of your best content. Right. So they go out there and they look to yeah, hire you, take that next step with you. Right. Um, so we're, we've, we've got the, the, the valuable value in the, in the, content in the, in the video. Um, yep. We've got the, the kind of different, two different types of targeting there. What, what else should we be looking for? So I, th I think the important thing is, is to make sure that we, we have a funnel, like we said, within our ads also. So we spoke about, you know, the, the warm and cold audiences. So let's say we, we run a, a good video ad to cold audiences and somebody watches our video or they watch the video and they, and they click over to our website. You know, most people aren't going to buy anything on a first touch. We've got to build, the, build them into our community, onto our email list and get them to be a part of our, our community. Um, so the way you want to do that is by retargeting. So obviously we want to be retargeting people to visit our website and we could be doing that with an image ad or with a video ad. Um, but what's a really great feature that Facebook has just rolled out in the last couple of months is a custom audience based on content engagement. And what that means is that you can create a, a almost a retargeting list to retarget people who watched our videos. And Facebook, in fact, gives you the ability to target people who watch 3%, 25%, 50, 75, or 100% of your videos, which is really powerful it's because people who watched a, a greater percentage of your video are going to have a much greater likelihood of, of being engaged with you and your message and what you have to sell. So if we can create an, an audience of those people and retarget those really, really engaged people, that could be a, a super high ROI audience for us to continue to go after. Um, so think, thinking about that audience is really good. You know, we could be using video ads to retarget people who have visited our website. So if you've got traffic coming to your website from, from other, other channels, from, from Google, from other places, you know, we can say every person that visits my website is going to see the next day a video of me teaching a great lesson related to the things that they looked for yesterday. And that's a great way just to continue that relationship that somebody visited the website and today I'm going to continue showing them that I can provide more value and get them to be engaged with me more, maybe offer a, uh, a free product, you know, like I said, an ebook download or a free webinar or something like that immediately right after that, having that type of funnel. Okay. So with that, with that call to action there, the, you know, into the funnel, the, the, the lead magnet, the, the ebook, whatever that might be. Right. How is that, how is that presented or how are you, how are you um, making sure that like, what are the kind of tactics or tips you can use when, you know, advertising to make sure that that's uh, going to ultimately drive the maximum amount of, of leads to your business? Right. So depending on how you create the video, you know, you, you can definitely put some kind of, um, you know, text on screen or call to action like that. But, you know, I would generally recommend most video ads are going to be relatively short, a couple of minutes. Um, people who have, you know, maybe mentioned at the beginning of a video that you're going to be making, you know, giving away a free gift or that you're going to tell them how to get, you know, uh, a, a webinar or, or an ebook or some kind of gift at the end of the video. But really in, in the text of what, of what you're saying, sorry, in, in the content of, of your video, you want to just at the end say, hey, I hope you enjoyed this information. But to get more and, and get an expa expanded amount of this information or, or to get the, the secrets that I didn't say in this short, you know, three minute video, go check out this other content, the webinar, and, and you'll get the full story about how you can get the full results over there. And obviously to go over there, they're going to have to submit their, their email and, and join your list and all of that. Okay. Uh, you might also... You, one last thing, you might, you might also want to um, put that call to action in the text that's going to be right above the video as well. And, and, and the, in the headline right below, which is now clickable on, on most video ads. 